Good morning. Today I'm going to show you how to install an inhibitor. The inhibitor is a patented polymer device that goes on top of the culture pivot and seals off the shafts so that anhydrous liquid fertilizer and dirt and debris doesn't get down into the pivot and uh, destroy the grease and therefore allowing it to corrode and rust and seize up. So the first thing you need to do is acquire an inhibitor packet. It looks like this. Everything you need is inside. One roll pin, one machine bushing, one greaser, and one inhibitor. You'll need to take your coulter off of the toolbar. I've got this one set up on a jig here for filming purposes. Um, go ahead and take out the greaser, uh, clean it up, uh, and you're going to need for tools a grease gun, a hammer, a uh, pin punch, a 3 8 inch, and a set of electrical dikes. Okay, I've opened up my inhibitor packet and I've laid the machine bushing, the roll pin, and the greaser aside and we need to fit the inhibitor. Now the inhibitor comes in two different diameters, uh, an inch and three quarters and an inch and a half. Make sure that you buy the appropriate one or it will not work. So as you look at the Coulter pivot, these are um, casted and there's a flare on some of these Coulter pivots uh, and it can be on each side. Now it's important that we get the inhibitor to go all the way up flush, much like that, and to sit down. So just slide it in from the front side. You can see where that pivot starts hitting. Um, so all we're going to do is make a quick cut on the inhibitor. Uh, it's designed to be able to do this so it accommodates multiple brands of culture pivots. And you snap that out like that. Do the same thing to the other side. Okay, we have fit our inhibitor to our culture pivot. The next thing you have to do is you have to put it on the shank. That's done just by placing it on the shank. And it's designed to be a very tight fit. And tap it down with the hammer. Just gently going side to side until you get it all the way down to here. Okay, once you've got the inhibitor on the shaft, you've got to slide the shaft back into the pivot. So I recommend applying grease before doing this. And we're going to slide this on in. And then we're going to put the machine bushing and roll pin on the bottom to secure it. So this is going to go all the way down. I have to use both hands to do this. So I'm going to stop filming again. Okay, now we have a, a new greaser in, roll pin, machine bushing, and an inhibitor installed. Everything's greased up. We're all set to go back into the field. It uh, takes a little bit of time to get them installed correctly uh, so that they seal up. Um, take your time, do it correctly, and you'll have three years worth of protection from having your pivot seize up. So remember, go to inhibitor.com and order your inhibitors now and uh, get them on for the spring fertilizing season. Thank you much.